Ever faced a stock out just when demand peaked? Or ended up with excess inventory eating up your profits? What if I told you there's a simple way to prevent both? Welcome to 10 Minutes for Supply Chain, where we simplify complex supply chain concepts. Today, we're diving deep into safety stock, the secret weapon to balance demand fluctuations and supply chain disruptions. In this video, we will discuss What is safety stock? Why safety stock is important? Multiple ways to calculate it with real-world examples. How to choose the right formula based on your business needs. Stick around till the end, and I'll also share some pro tips to optimize your inventory. Before we start, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you love actionable supply chain insights. Now, let's get started. What is safety stock? In supply chain and inventory management, Safety stock is the extra inventory held to protect against uncertainties in demand and supply. It acts as a buffer to prevent stockouts caused by fluctuations in demand, delays in supply, or inaccurate forecasting. Why safety stock is important. Maintaining the right level of safety stock is critical for ensuring service levels while optimizing inventory costs. Safety stock is crucial for preventing stockouts, ensures product availability during unexpected demand surges. Compensating for lead time variability, covers delays in supplier deliveries. Ensuring customer satisfaction, reduces lost sales and backorders. Managing forecasting errors, acts as a cushion for demand variability. Methods to calculate safety stock. Different methods are used depending on business conditions, demand patterns, and supply variability. Below are five commonly used safety stock calculation methods. 1. Fixed safety stock method. When to use. When demand and lead time are relatively stable. For businesses with historical experience of safe stock levels. Formula. Safety stock equals fixed value. Example. A retail store determines that maintaining a safety stock of 500 units is enough based on historical sales trends. There is no calculation, instead, it is a business decision. 2. Time-based supply safety stock method. When to use. When supply reliability is uncertain. If demand is relatively stable. Formula. Safety stock equals average daily demand times days of safety stock. Example. A manufacturing company consumes 200 units daily on average and wants to maintain a 5-day safety stock. SS equals 200 times 5 equals 1000. 3. Standard deviation based safety stock, normal distribution. When to use. When demand and lead time variations follow a normal distribution. When businesses want to maintain a service level, e.g., 95%. Formula. SS equals Z times sigma D times square root of LT. Z equals service level factor, e.g., 1.645 for 95% confidence level. Sigma D equals standard deviation of demand. LT equals average lead time. Example. Average daily demand equals 500 units. Standard deviation of daily demand equals 50 units. Lead time equals 4 days. Z value for 95% service level equals 1.645. SS equals 1.645 times 50 times square root of 4 is equal to 164.5 approximate 165. 4. Lead time demand variability method, Heiser and Render model. When to use. When lead time is highly variable. Formula. SS equals Z times sigma LT times D. Where. Z equals service level factor. Sigma LT equals standard deviation of lead time. D equals average demand. Example. Demand per day equals 300 units. Standard deviation of lead time equals 2 days. Average lead time equals 5 days. Z equals 1.645, 95% service level. SS equals 1.645 times 2 times 300 equals 987 is almost equal to 990. 5. Safety stock based on service level and fill rate. When to use. When focusing on fill rate instead of service level. For businesses with backorders. Formula. SS equals theta times D times sigma LT. 
where theta is a fill rate based factor from statistical tables. Example. If theta equals 0.75, d equals 400 units slash day, and sigma lt equals 3 days. SS equals 0.75 times 400 times 3 equals 900. How to choose the right method? Condition. Recommended method. Stable demand and lead time. Fixed safety stock. Uncertain supplier reliability. Time-based safety stock. Normally distributed demand. Standard deviation based. High lead time variability. Lead time demand variability. Managing fill rates. Service level and fill rate. Pro tip to optimize inventory management. It's better to have different strategies for different SKUs. Like if some SKUs have smooth demand you can have lower targets or maybe min-max types of inventory targets, but the SKUs having intermittent demand require high safety stock with some sophisticated algorithm like MIO. If you want a detailed video on MIO, kindly comment MIO in the comment box. Conclusion Effective safety stock calculation ensures uninterrupted supply chain operations and minimizes inventory costs. Selecting the right method depends on business requirements, demand patterns, and supply chain uncertainties. Implementing the correct safety stock strategy helps businesses maintain a balance between inventory holding costs and customer satisfaction, leading to a more resilient and optimized supply chain. You can check the Excel template in our shop section. That's all for today. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you again.